welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Umbriel and I make a lot of knitting related videos on this channel. And today I wanted to talk about free patterns for gift knitting. So I think a lot of us knitters are frantically knitting for our loved ones for the holidays that are coming up. It's December 2022 right now. So um, yeah, time has uh, come to start gift knitting. Of course, you don't have to, but if you want to, I have a lot of nice uh, patterns, which are also free. Uh, I found them on Ravelry. I looked through all the pages and I found a bunch of them that I think are really nice. And uh, even if you're not gift knitting for the holidays coming up, but you need a last minute gift, you're at the right channel. So keep watching. I'll go into them quick so you can get knitting very quickly. So let's get started. The way I'm setting this up is I looked mostly for bulky patterns. So as little meterage as possible uh, with maximum output. So as little time as you can put into it and not just knit a hat or knit a headband, a little bit more uh, different creative ideas, I think. So that's the main idea, bulky knits, but also some uh, lighter weight knits, just so you can get them done as quickly as possible. First up, I have some arm warmers. So I've seen that a lot of uh, knitters are really into the uh, fingerless mittens. So I found three uh, patterns that are uh, fingerless mittens. These first ones are called arm warmers, but I guess it's almost the same if you like I'm knitting from here. So the first one um, is the Bridge Arm Warmers by Kukiko Inoue. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, these are, well, it's a free pattern, of course. All the patterns are free, like I said before. Um, the yardage is only 130 meters, so that's really good. Uh, and they're knitted on six millimeter needles in a twisted one by one rib. And I think they look really nice and I think you can make this so quickly because they're made on six millimeter needles. So I think the bridge arm warmers are a really good idea for a bulky knit. Like I said, they'll, they'll be done very quickly. Okay, second pattern is also a fingerless mitten. They're called Gino by Claire Walls. And the cool thing about it is that she also put in a bunch of pictures of her dip dyeing them into some dye. Um, and that's how you create the ombre effect. So I think that's included in the pattern, which is really cool. These are knitted on five and a half millimeter needles and they only need 100 to 185 meters uh, of yarn, which is super nice. They're also kind of uh, knit on a bulky kind of weight, but they still look very pretty and uh, not too bulky. Like they look really nice. And they come in five different sizes, which is also good. So you can make them for everyone in your family or, or all your different friends. The third pattern is also a fingerless mitten. And I chose this one. This is knit with a fingering weight. So this is not a bulky weight. So we'll go a little bit, you, we'll need a little bit more time. Um, but they only require 140 to 150 meters of yarn. So it's still not that much meterage. Um, they're called the Cloudburst Fingerless Mittens by Ariane Gray. And I think they look super nice. They have a pattern on the, uh, on this side of the hand. And then this side is just stockinette. And I think it's such a lovely pattern. It's like kind of leafy and I think they're just really cute. And I think any woman or man who likes this, um, would really appreciate getting a gift like this if they like fingerless mittens. So from fingerless mittens, um, we go to something else, which is something else I looked into. I looked into a bunch of felted uh, gifts because they are usually knit on bulky weight yarn. And uh, these are actually boiled, I think. So um, they're called, they say, these are a very fine beginner knitting project. So I think if you want to get mittens for a loved one, maybe for a man in your family who is not into fingerless mittens, um, these would be really nice and warm uh, mittens to make. They're actually made, this pattern is actually made in 1983. 
So they're super old. I bet they're, uh, they have been very popular and that's why it's still available on Ravelry. Um, they're knit on a bulky weight and uh, on a six millimeter needle. Um, so I think they're boiled after you make them. So that's a higher level of felting. I've never done that before. I've only felt it in a washing machine, but uh, it sounds like a good uh, yeah, thing to try out. I would really like to try this out. So let me know if you do, because this is really cool, I think. Next up is another mitten and they're called the Men's Christmas Mittens. So I thought I should include some Christmas related uh, patterns because Christmas is coming up. Uh, but if you uh, celebrate a different holiday, they still look pretty wintry. So you can just omit the uh, red, but yeah, I think they're really cute. They're only available in a size extra large, which would be, which is intended for this pattern. Like they say, there's not enough uh, mittens available, mitten patterns available for men with large hands. So that's why they created them. But I think uh, I would love to have some big mittens for my hands too, and I have tiny hands. So I don't know if it really matters. Maybe you can just adjust how long you make the um, thumb or how long you make the hand. So then you kind of, uh, yeah, you kind of take care of that. So the yarn weight is actually fingering weight, um, but they only use 202 meters of yarn. So that's also not that much. They're published in November, 2022. So they're really recent. And I think it's a really cute uh, Christmas pattern to knit for a loved one. Well, going from mittens to a different category, um, we go to socks and of course you can knit the basic vanilla sock uh, fingering weight for loved ones but that might take a while so what I thought is to look at more like house socks so bulky weight socks so I found a few patterns for you so the first sock pattern that I found is the Clafutis Bat Socks by Barbara Connington and uh, they're published in the Little Red Hen Studio um, and it's a free Ravelry download, so that's really nice. And the weight, the weight of the yarn is super bulky and they're knit on five and a half millimeter needles. So I think they're, uh, they have a really tight gauge, which makes them really nice for having socks around the house. So they don't like get too holy and everything, but I think they look very, very comfy. And they're, yeah, it's just really nice to have those kind of socks, especially in the winter time, right? Next up is another sock pattern. These are the basic chunky socks by Carolyn Montagu. Montagu. Um, and they're very similar to the previous socks, although I would say these are a little bit more uh, basic looking even. Like they're very like straightforward, bulky sock. And I think they're really nice. Like imagine making a pair of these for everyone in your family in a different color from all your scraps of bulky weight um, yarn, which would be amazing. And then during Christmas time, when you're un unpacking all your gifts, you all wear those socks, or maybe you give them for the uh, for Christmas and then you put them on and then you do the rest of the gifts. But anyway, they would be a very nice and quick uh, pattern to make. They only require 73 until 92 meters um, and I think the length of the sock is adjustable to the feet that you're knitting it for. Um, they're knitted on six millimeter needles so that will go by very very quickly. The next sock pattern that I found are the cottage socks. So these socks I uh, specifically chose for the cute little detail at the top. I think it's kind of like a pico edge or like a, I don't know, it just looks really cute. I'll insert a picture, of course. Um, and they're knit with a bulky weight yarn on five and a half and five millimeter needles. So I think that's for the ribbing, you maybe used a smaller needle size. And they're uh, available in a lot of different sizes. So they go from a child's small to a men's large. So they have all the different sizes, which is super nice. And I bet that you can adjust the length again to whatever you want. Um, yeah, and they just look really cute. And these are again, like 
You can make them for everyone in your family and they'll be super cute. I have a little bit of a whimsical one and I thought these are so nice. I would definitely make these like for my boyfriend or my boyfriend's dad or something. I, I could totally see them wearing it. These are felted again and they're slippers. They are the elf shoes and they have this like beautiful pointed toe like an elf shoe and like an elf slipper, I guess. And they have the like uh, thingy going around where you can see in the picture. I just love these. I will definitely make them uh, for someone in my family. Uh, they're really, really nice. They only require 90 until 275 meters. And they go all the way from an infant to adult wide. And I think you can, so that's the width. And then you can adjust the length to whatever you need. So, oh, I love these. And can you imagine making these for a toddler? So, so cute, so cute. Next up is the last slipper that I have for you. I think these are uh, mentioned by Knitting Traditions and that she did a translation on them in one of her podcasts. But I found that they are also available now in English. They're the number three double toffler. They're felted slippers and I think they're folded into each other. So you kind of knit like a, it's kind of similar to the muscle bar hat if you've watched any of my videos about those, but you make it two times and then you fold it into each other and then you felt them. So they'll be super, super thick and warm, which will be super nice. They require 280 until 700 meters. And I think the meterage is this high because you make them double, double folded. So you fold them into each other. So it's two times the amount you need per slipper. So you almost make four slippers per pair. Um, but I think they're really nice and they go, they're in EU sizes and they go all the way from a size 25, which is for a child until a size 46. So perfect for everyone in the family um, and they're felted. So these, I think you felt in the washing machine. Then we're done with the feet part. <laughs> we go to something that I've seen a lot recently and that's the balaclava. So I found a beautiful balaclava pattern for free on Ravelry and that's this one. It's called the BB Balaclava by Young Min Choi. And it's available for free, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't include it. And the yardage is only uh, 200 to 230 uh, meters. So it's really not that much yarn that you need. I think it will be very done very quickly and it's something different to give than just a hat. But I think uh, a lot of girls would like to get this and maybe boys, who knows. Um, yeah, and they're knit on a five and a half millimeter needle and also a four millimeter needle, I think, for the ribbing and the band around your face. So I think they're, they look really cool and it's knitted in, um, I think it's a, a broken rib uh, stitch or a seed stitch. Yeah, I think it's just a really nice pattern to uh, start making a balaclava and it will be done very quickly for your loved ones. Next up is a hat pattern and I didn't want to include too many hat patterns because a hat is something really quickly that you can make for a loved one and there's a lot of different patterns but I thought I would include this one because it's made on such a thick needle size. So these are made on eight millimeter needles and they are a little bit different. So they are the Teddy Bucket Hat from Alexandra Tafel who is two of ones. Um, she has a lot of free patterns, which is amazing. Uh, they're all available on her website and you can also buy the pattern if you want a PDF. Um, they're this bucket hat made from this like teddy yarn and it just looks so comfy and it's something different than just a regular beanie. Uh, I think it's super cute and it only requires 163 meters of yarn and there's four sizes available. So that's really nice too. And yeah, I just think it's so cute. Just cozy up in a nice teddy bucket hat and uh, just look super nice. Like as you can see in the picture, she just looks super nice in it too. And you can mix around with the colors or make it all one color, whatever you want, whatever the person that you knitted for wants. 
Next up, I have two Christmas themed hats. I, I had to include them because they're so cute and I can just imagine them making them for little kids and just so cute. So the first one is the classic Santa hat by Aaron Gates. Uh, they're knitted on 10 millimeter needles, which will make it go very quickly. And just look at these pictures of the kids wearing them. It's just so cute. Um, they're available for a baby size, a child size and an adult size. So you can make it for everyone. Um, and they only require, uh, yeah, it says nine to 66 meters, but I don't think nine is correct. But um, they are knitted only with, uh, they're knitted with 10 millimeter needles. So it will go very quickly, but I don't know if you need nine meters. I think you'll need a little bit more, but it's just so cute. And then you have the little pom pom at the end. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, I love it. And then the second one, if you're not into the Christmas hat, or at least the Santa hat, there's the Santa's helper stocking hat. So this is kind of like a elf hat, I guess. Um, and it also just looks so cute. And it's um, available in only one size. It says one size fits the most. Well, I don't know, there's a lot of different size of hats, had head heads so <laughs> i don't know if that would work out um they require a little bit more knitting because they're knitted on four millimeter needles in an aaron weight yarn um and they require somewhere between 110 and 137 meters so it still will go pretty quickly and it's just look at it it's just so cute i uh, included one bag and i found this one because i was looking for felted uh, patterns and I just thought it was really nice. It's knitted on eight millimeter needles and it's this felted knot bag by K Knits. K and then a, like a thing like this and then knits. Um, it's like a tote bag but it has a knot in it and it's felted. So you knit it on eight millimeter needles and you need f somewhere between 300 and 900 meters. Um, and there's only one size, so I don't know why there's such a difference in the yardage, but yeah, I guess maybe based on how long you make the strap. Um, yeah, and I think it's a really nice bag. I uh, wanted to include it because uh, I just really like the way it looks. It's a little bit different than just a regular tote bag because of the knot, and it's really nice that it's felted, so nothing will fall through it and you'll really have a sturdy bag. Uh, and it's just really nice to give to someone and it still doesn't require that much yarn. Next up, I'm going to even quicker knits. So I thought, okay, you have all these cozies that you can have on bags on, uh, or on <laughs> bags, on cups, on water bottles, on yeah, whatever. So I found a bunch of cozies for different purposes and I thought they were really nice to include and they require so little yarn and they will be knitted so quickly. So the first one is called Main Street. It's this cup holder cozy, so a cup cozy, and it's knitted on 3.75 uh, meters, uh, mill millimeter needle needles, sorry. And it only requires about uh, 50 meters. There's only one size, but they seem to fit on a lot of different cups. And I think it's really nice. It has this detail of a cable in it and it just looks really, really nice to give to someone because it's so useful. And next up, I have one that looks a little bit more summery, but what if you uh, watch this in not wintry time? So I got you covered too. It's this Drink Cozy uh, with a pink flamingo on it. It's called the Pink Flamingo Drink Cozy by Double Dutch Crafts. Double Dutch, I think because I'm Dutch, so I think it's double. Um, yeah, it's this uh, cup cozy with a flamingo on it. It's very straightforward because the name says what it is. Um, they're needed on four and a half millimeter needles and they require under a hundred meters of um, yarn. So it will be knit up very quickly and it's it has some color work in it. So even if you've never knit color work before, I bet this is a pretty easy one to do to start with because it's so tiny and you'll have a really, really cute outcome. And I would have a flamingo for Christmas, so you can make it whenever you want. Um, yeah, I really like the way this one looks.
I have another cozy, uh, which is called Cup Heart. And the reason I thought this one was so cute is because it has the heart in it. It's knit in garter stitch, and then it just has the like uh, stockinette stitch heart in it. And it's just so simple, but so effective. It's so cute. Um, it's uh, The designer is Anya Lomakina, and it's uh, knitted in an Aran weight, and you only need uh, 20 meters so it's will knit up super quickly um, and the needle size you need is four millimeter needles and just yeah so effective like if you make this for someone and they'll just have something to keep their uh, cup warm to drink their tea or their coffee perfect next up I thought this one was great so I found the cup holder mitten and it's this mitten with like where you can wrap around so inside you can wrap around your cup but you still have a warm hand so you can like drink whatever you want outside without getting cold hands um it's this pattern by uh chai li ye and it just looks so nice um, it's knit in four and a half millimeter needles and you need somewhere between 100 and 230 meters and it comes in diff three different sizes and what I've seen in the project is that a lot of people I think they use this one together with um, like a regular mitten pattern that they had and like combine them to make one of them have the cup holder and the other one just having a regular mitten so you'll have a pair of like one with the cup holder and one a regular mitten which is great i think so you'll just combine two patterns i really like that idea um and then you'll have a pair of mittens for people and they can watch the fireworks outside for new years and they'll have one hand warm with a cup and the other hand to wave around or something. Yeah, I just think it's really nice, a really, really nice pattern and uh, so useful for those cold days when you're outside watching fireworks or doing whatever. Um, it would be nice for coffee too. You don't have to have a, a soft drink or something. Yeah. So next up, and this one will be very specific, but I can, kind of imagine it would be very useful for uh, like certain people in your family. I found the super quick pet pen handle cover by Hannah Nelson. And as you can see, it's a pen uh, uh, handle cover. That's all it is. But it only requires five to 18 meters of yarn and it will be knit up very quickly. Like, can you imagine making a little set maybe with a little dishcloth and then this thing and then just giving it to, I don't know, someone in your family that likes to cook and is burning their hands on their pans all the time? I don't know. I, I would kind of be worried a little bit about fire hazard, but I mean, your hands won't get super hot if you want to touch it. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, they're knit in a bulky weight yarn on uh, four and a half millimeter uh, needles and they'll knit up so quickly. So you'll have your gift very quickly if you make this one. Maybe you're gifting a pan and then you can knit this and then you have a handmade thing and a pan all in one. Perfect. All right, another cozy something that I thought was really nice since, um, well, Europe is experiencing a lot of high energy prices right now. So I think a lot of people are going back to like a hot water bottle in their bed and I found the perfect thing for that. So I think really this is the perfect gift for this winter. It's called the Pine Needle Hottie and it's this um, hot water bottle holder, like cozy for around it. So you usually have this like plastic thing with a screw on top and then you put boiling water in it and you close it. And then it will be nice to have something to hold that. So it won't be like too plasticky on you. So I think it's so nice. It has this pine needle um, color work in it, but only for a small section. So also if you've never knit color work before, I think this is a really nice one to start with it. And uh, they're knit in worsted weight yarn 
on 2.75 millimeter needles and they only require somewhere between 230 and 250 meters of yarn and i think it's a perfect gift it's like so thoughtful for this uh cold winter in the northern hemisphere and the high energy prices so i think it's perfect i think it's really a perfect gift then we're going to decorations um like little thingies to make that look cute uh, first up, I found these stars and I've seen a bunch of people mentioning stars. I think I saw some people making stars on uh, Instagram, but I found these Charna, uh, this Charna pattern. So they're stars by Carolina Eckerdahl and they're, they just look so nice for in your tree or maybe just hanging off the, off the ceiling or whatever, just really cute above the fireplace. They're knit in DK weight yarn on three millimeter needles and they only require somewhere between 30 and 45 meters of yarn. So it'll be very, very, very quick. Then something else that I've seen a lot recently, I've seen a lot of knitters make, but here I have the pattern for you, is tiny sweaters. So also as a decorative thing. So hang it in your Christmas tree or whatever you want. You can hang it in your house, make a mobile out of it for your baby. Just some ideas. Um, these tiny sweaters, that's the pattern, that's what it's called, are um, designed by Malia May Joseph and they're uh, published in Stephen and Penelope, which is a knitting store in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Um, and they're these cute little tiny sweaters. They're knit in DK weight yarn and on four and a half millimeter needles and they only require nine to 14 meters of yarn. So they'll go so, so quickly. It will just be super nice to have these hanging around your house for Christmas or giving them to someone just as a whimsical gift. Speaking of whimsical gifts, I found some plushies. So these are the final two patterns that I found. And I found a, like a beginner friendly one and a very more experienced near one. And I think they're just so nice. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. So they'll not require that much yarn, but they'll require some like thinking because it's a lot of construction. So the first one is called Beginner's Rainbow Rabbit. They're this one is designed by Claire Garland. Um, and they're knit with sport weight yarn. And her idea was to make it with whatever yarn you have left over. So the ex example, one of the examples is knitted in all these different types of yarn and it just looks so cute. And she also has one knitted all in this brown color and also looks super cute. But imagine giving this to a kid in your family. And if you've never knit plushies before, this will be a really nice one way to start. So uh, a sport weight yarn, three and a half millimeter needles, and they only require 75 to 90 meters of yarn and you can knit it any size you want. So I think she includes like, what if you use a bigger size needle? What if you use like a bigger weight yarn? Anything like that, you can make uh, whatever you have left in your stash and just knit a plushie with it. So super nice. Then the more experienced one, um, this is also, by the way, also Claire Garden. She has a lot of really cute plushies and very, um, realistic looking. So look at this one. This is called Chipmunk and it looks so realistic and so beautiful. It's this plushie um, and it's also knitted in a sport weight yarn or yeah, a sport weight yarn on three and a half millimeter needles. And it only requires 55 to 65 meters of yarn. And it just looks so, so beautiful. So it will require a lot of work because you have to like knit it so like such tiny things and put things together, but it's so effective. And I've looked in the projects and people's projects also look really good. So that only says how good this pattern is. Um, yeah, how good she, uh, how well she's written this pattern. So those were all my 25 plus free patterns for gift knitting. I really enjoy, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe down below somewhere and uh, just hit the button that says subscribe. And if you enjoy knitting related videos, um, I'll link in my uh, 
playlist for my podcast so you can watch that if you want uh, and I hope to see you next time in the video okay.